I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. You can see I'm not alone, I'm joined by two lovely ladies. I have Josephine from the channel Jude Rose Hi. and Clemence from the channel Clemence CC Fragrance. How are you doing ladies? Very well, well thank you. They're going to help me rate top five sexy ambers. So if you want to see what they are, stay tuned to FM. So I was coming on a trip down to London and I thought if I was coming down here I've got to film with Josephine and Clemence and it's a little bit difficult to find filming locations, we've just filmed something in a pub exactly. and they were very good to let us film there, yeah. so it is quite difficult. Um, I reached out to Javoy, they very kindly said they were happy for us to film here, so we are in Javoy Mayfair. As you can see, it's an amazing store. Um, the lighting is looking quite good right now. I've got a, my own light set up, but it's, a lot of it is to do with the, the, the lighting that they have in store, which is uh, very atmospheric. Um, all the fragrances we're going to talk about in the video, obviously, are available in Javoy. So if you think you like the sound of any of these, then you can just come along to the store and try them out for yourself. So the ambers we've got here are the top five selling ambers that Javoy sell. We are going to go through these five, we're each going to smell them and give our opinions and at the end we'll each say which one we think is our favourite. So the first one we're going to smell is Amber Intense from Fragrance de Bois. Have you smelled this one before? No. I you, smelled... Oh, I thought you did. Oh, no. Okay. I smelled this one I in Milan. The other range. Mm. I thought it was amazing. I, I, this is mm. a fantastic... Fragrance. It smells yes, slightly yeah. animalic, that's what I guess. It does, yes. yeah. yeah. Slightly yeah. It's at probably the beginning. The hood, no? Exactly, but it's like a, like a mm -hmm. slightly very animalic hood. I smell that straight yeah. away. Yeah. yeah, same. It's not overbearing though, is it? No, it doesn't take it's away not. from the elegance of the fragrance. And then after you smell like the amber for me is a bit floral. I don't yeah, know why I get sure. that. It's like, yeah. I get like a white flower mm -hmm. effect from yeah. this. Uh, so uh, there is mm. rose in here, so there yeah, is some floral one. in okay. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a big rose though, is it? No, it's just it's a, like not. a delicate floral nuance. I think it just make it more powdery overall, but that's it. I the feel like this is a fragrance that you would wear. I love for it. For sure. Yeah. I mean, amber fragrance is really my favourite type usually. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, and I think the amber in this is just really rich, and as amber often is, but I think the oud is really um, taking that to another level as well. Yeah. Giving it loads mm. of base and muscularity to the fragrance, but it's it manages to have an elegance to it at the same time, really nicely balanced. Exactly, it's not like an overbearing beast in the hood, like that mm. is going to be mm. like too much overwhelming, like it's, it's, it's there. It's actually like, it's developing into something quite smooth and that animalistic facet yeah. is cooling down. Tones down a bit, yeah. I really enjoy it. There's something mm. like quite, like, I don't know if you get it, maybe I'm the only one, but I feel that there's some sort of cleanness behind, like mm -hmm. soapy cleanness, I don't That's know what. powdery feel maybe. Probably, yeah. probably. Yeah. 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 There's some bergamot in here, probably in the top, so it's maybe Yeah, it's not a like nice an amber that is too, too warm, too mm. strong. Mm. It's quite uplifting as I, well. I like that, so this animalic uh, nuance that it has is definitely not a negative. I really, I think it mm -hmm. gives a lot of character oh, to yeah, the Oh yeah, me Yeah, for sure. I don't fancy when it's too animalic, too focused on this, but this is nicely balanced with the yeah. flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say this is a unisex fragrance or would you say it's more feminine? Yeah, no, I'd say unisex. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah? mm -hmm. I think there's enough in the, the, of those kind of more feminine notes to me anyway, like, like the rose, mm -hmm. um, that give it, uh, an elegance that I think would really um, connect with femininity, but then I think you've got the darker notes of, of the slightly animalic oud. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think of um, whoever's wearing this, I think it, it could go either way. I mm. think it's a unisex. Mm. What would you say? Unisex? Yeah, or? agree, yeah, yeah, for sure. If a guy was smelling this, would you be thinking, oh, this, you're smelling good? And, yeah. yeah, I think this would be like a nice yard as well. Yeah, it's very good day night, mm. good date night, so essential. Essential. Yeah. I would love a man to wear that on a date. Yeah. That would be like so mm. attractive, isn't it? So it's definitely a sexy amber. Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. Okay. All right, so that's the first one. So the next one, I'm not familiar with this. I don't know if you girls are. This is Welton London Secret Amber. Oh, that's yeah. why I don't know it. It's a secret. I've never smelled the fragrance, so I'm pretty no. curious actually. So I was saying earlier that I'm a Thank huge you. fan of um, the candle that is like an ambery scent as oh, well. Oh, from this brand. So maybe ah. it's the same. We'll see. Oh, it smells musky. Oh my gosh, yeah. it is! Yeah. <laughs> is it the same yes. as the candle? Yes! Wow. Oh, it smells okay. very cottony. Oh, so nice. Yeah, a bit soft, sweeter. There's it's something sweet. sweet. It's mm. a bit. It's not as punchy as the. Uh, no, 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 no. And enveloping. Oh, I love 
Yeah. It smells sweet, yeah. comforting fragrance. Cocooning. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's mm. a great word, cocooning. For sure. I would yeah. wear that at home when it's L very cold. A lot of vanilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's got a very fuzzy. oriental yes. um, feel to it. It's I very think it's cotton. quite feminine. It's, do you, what do you think? I think it, I I could wear it. Um, I think it's mm. more feminine than the fragrance of though. Yeah, yeah, Because it's sure. got that animalic aspect. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is such a great surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not because it smells the same as the candle. <laughs> the candle, yeah. But it's the same scent, so it would smell the same, wouldn't it? What am I? I don't remember the name of the candle. <laughs> oh, so it is the candle. Like, as in, like, I know the candle has amber in it, but... Right. <laughs> I don't is it, the so, is that the name of the candle that have, or did you start that? Maybe. You're excited I, I, because you I, found I, out the name of the candle. No, I'm excited because it's the same scent as a candle. Yeah. But I don't know if they have the same name. I really enjoy that. I'm still or just leaning more towards the fragrance de bois. Brand, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know. The fragrance de bois is more floral though. Oh, you you yeah. smell the floral more than mm, Yeah, than this that. one yeah. is more sugary, warmer, mm, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, comforting. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Oh, that's my favourite. So, this one is... Um, oh. Oh look, it's oh, French, so you two should say it. Histoire de parfum. Un, deux, trois. Histoire de parfum. Histoire de parfum. Yeah! Yeah, yeah um, that's good. Ambre 114. That was a more northern uh, pronunciation. I love that. It's so good. Do you know why I like it? It's because the benzoin feels a bit oh, sticky. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. it smells very like you're burning something as well, mm. you know. Do you get patchouli from this? Oh yeah, yeah. like yeah. the patchouli is very grassy in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get quite a lot of patchouli in that. There's some rose and geranium, yeah, sandalwood. Geranium, you can smell it because it's not Cedar. lavender like. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, no, it's a bit aromatic. Mm, it yeah. is very soothing. Tonka and bean. Fresh. That that's a, this is like a oh, winner. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is great. We we we. I agree. I agree. Oh my so, god. So so this is kind of like maybe one of the ultimate versatile ambers because you could just wear this as a signature yeah. scent or it yeah. would be like a sensual I think, evening scent as well. I think because of the aromatic touch that you said, like I would probably wear it during summer as well. Mm. It's yeah, really weird, yeah, like springtime summer, it's quite hairy, uplifting. It is I very, really it is very really uplifting, like yeah. Mm. yeah. And I don't yeah. know, like it's, it's it's got uh, a lightness to it, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. It does, it does, like it's the, not too deep. The fragrance de bois is amazing as much as I love it. It's a very dense, heavy. It's really fragrance. opulent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very opulent. This yeah. one is like, like an everyday signature. Yeah, that's country. that's yeah. actually. It smells like a very bit vintage good. to me as well. I smell like a, you walk into a library. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know. I get the histoire de parfum. Probably that's why the, the book. Yeah. It looks like a bookshelf actually, yeah. like when you have it like this. Yeah. But yeah, I feel for me like it's more a bit more vintage. Like I used to smell that before, like. I don't know, the 20s kind of sense. Yeah. This mm. one are for me like much more modern interpretation mm. of amber. Yeah. yeah. That's, that is very good. I, I'll be hard. Mm. So far, I'm struggling to choose between the fragrance de bois and. Yeah, me too, me too. Oh, but you, I know you I know I like I, I, I know. Ah, what do you think? You? I would say this one. Okay. Which right. one? Which one? Which one? You saw the bath. Because it's it just, it's a bit more versatile. It does. Yeah, um, this is definitely yeah. more I think it's I more easy to wear as well. Yeah, like definitely. if you want to wear a number of fragrance, like it's got everything that everyone wants, like a good balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. super easy to wear. Mm -hmm. Join the Scent Geeks every Monday as we podcast about all things fragrance. You'll find us anywhere you can usually find a podcast. Links are in the description below this video. See you there, geeks. The next one is uh, Javoy's own brand, uh, which is called Ombre Premiere. Do you know this one? Nope. Never tried. I don't think I've ever tried any of uh, Jouvoy fragrances. Have you? Yeah, they're great. I was just saying to Ollie earlier that, that there's so many of them that I really love. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it smells prettier, does it? This smells like um, warming, warm woods, like a, mm -hmm. a warm, like wood warming up, like, you know, when you're in a sauna. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Um, yeah. When you pour it, the water yeah. it goes. It does, actually. Yeah. And the wood of the, of the sauna heats up. That is a great description. Yeah, it smells slightly smoky. Definitely. Yes, there is a little, little bit of smoke to that, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's... Um, mm. It's interesting. It's much more lighter than the other one, though, I feel. Yeah. There's left that, but it, it doesn't make it less interesting. I think that's why it is actually interesting. I find it quite smooth as well. It's very smooth, very velvety, mm -hmm. you know? This, mm. to me, is the most ambery of the ones we've smelled so far. 
this is kind of amber through and through whereas mm -hmm. we got florals from that one we got a lot of mm. patchouli and vanilla from that one this this one to me straightforward is yeah more this straightforward like, amber most yeah obvious. if you want amber, amber. this is i can this smell is something yeah. very fruity though i don't know if uh, that's spices spicy. rose amber vanilla oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, mm. also yeah the spices okay yeah definitely after a while growing. spiced yeah mm. spiced mm. Uh, amber vanilla mm. It smells oh yummy. Gosh. I want to eat after. I don't know. Yeah. But like, I feel very hungry. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. That's. I really. I really enjoy that. I. I. I am. A li I did have a sample of that. So I. So I have worn that. I, I know it. Yeah. And uh, so the final one is Amber Door from Cristian Provenzano. Provenzano. Perfetto. Yeah. <laughs> You're not Italian, ladies. Grazie. To me. Prego. Prego. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> they all took us by surprise. That's good. Oh, oh I like this. It's so really, really sexy. Fruity. I get a little, fruity. little fruitiness from this one. Very fruity. This mm. is this is really unexpected, actually, for an amber. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Not see that it, it looks. It's very different than the other ones. It kind yeah, of. Yeah. Don't you say of, a bit of have to shave, like like I yeah, feel like a bit like, um, like yeah, a like an old, yeah. Yeah. yeah, old school cologne. I don't know. Or, the, like the first thing that came to my, I don't know. Like maybe I shouldn't say that, but the first thing that came to my mind was like designer. It smells like something I smelled before. I okay. don't know. It's probably the most more approachable scent yeah. out of the I think the so. collection that we have today. smells more yeah. masculine that and the uh, it's like the pop mask yeah the mm. mask and the, the lime i think Red that's fruits. what i get like uh it smells like ultra clean like um mm. slightly like a barber shop a little yeah. bit do you like it i do like I it it's really interesting like it. yeah is it sexy it's, it's, it's really sexy it's really masculine I, I, yeah. would, I, would, really I would more get Definitely it. Definitely has a, almost like, a, you're right, it does have a powdery barbershop does, little um, yeah. street. For me, I, I would more wear it probably during the day. Yeah. I don't know, like this. Mm. I yes. feel the other one was much more deeper, darker yeah. than this one. Mm -hmm. For me, this is not an obvious amber at all. Actually, no. In fact, no, it doesn't. If I didn't know it was an amber scent, you wouldn't, I wouldn't you, you don't say smell it got amber. Yeah. Yeah. Amber yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so okay. we'll smell them all. Do you want to have one last run through them and then decide yep. which is your favourite? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So back to the fragrance de bois. Thank you. That's the animalic is there, like yeah. really yeah. there. It's so opulent. It's quite complex, isn't it? It smells, it, it smells really expensive. Don't you it know? Is, this smells the most expensive out of all of them, I would but that's say. That's because I you, you is, say is that it? because of the hood and the, the, the opulence. It, it, it's like, yeah, it's like very present. It's not going to leave you. Five, five, nine, five for 100 It's notes, the kind so of fragrance that expensive. I would say would be, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very popular in yeah. Middle Eastern, like, you know, they mm. like to have an opulent mm. like, animal extent. Yeah, yeah, true. All right. Okay. Next one. This is going to be a struggle to pick, isn't it? Because do we go with do we go with like the biggest amber accord, or do we go with just the one that we emotionally think, connect I with the most? We can both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's for mm. me is much more cottony, powdery, sweeter. Yeah, I like it. It doesn't instantly grab me this, um, as yeah. much as, as some of the other ones. I think it's, in, it's, it's more, it's simpler yes. for that way yeah. compared to the other ones. Yeah. I think these two actually I think this one have a similar character yeah. in the sense it's of... It's more poetic, it's more delicate than the other yeah, one. Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 Friendly, it's very friendly. Yeah, yeah. friendly. Yeah. It's very inviting, isn't it? It is. It's inviting. Yeah. Okay, back to the Histoire de Parfum. <laughs> Cute! Oh! That's a cute, a cute fragrance. Oh, come for a little Yeah, top five cute fragrances. <laughs> this is sexy as well. I'm this is sexy, mm. yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, for me, this one's got the this is right. So, this I would describe as more sexy, whereas the fragrance de bois I would say more sensual. Yes. Exactly. I think yes, there's a bit yes, of a difference, yes. distinction. Yeah. I feel like there's not. People don't really make that distinction between sensual and sexy. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you. For me, sexy that. is more well, punchy. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, but in general, <laughs> yeah, sure. You know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Have... All right. So we all like that one, I think. Yeah. The Jouvoy, Amber Premier. Mm. Okay. 
It's much more soft than yeah, yeah. this one. This is the nicest amber accord of all of them. Yeah. I think. I think so. This gets my vote for the nicest amber. Mm. Mm. I'm not saying mm. necessarily sexiest, but. No, it's as in, not. Like, as in like a true amber? True amber? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, true amber. This one is yeah. because yeah. you can really like, just yeah. melt. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, last yeah. one, and then we'll uh, we'll pick our favorite. Oh, for me, it's like an office mm. scent. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. It is familiar. I, I isn't this it? is not There's something amber. familiar about the DNA. For me, it's like, it's it's mm -hmm. it's very musky, musky okay. amber. Yeah. All right, so right. they're all very good. They're mm. all very nice. They're all very good. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I I'm gonna as as the top sexy scent. No, yeah, ladies first. Let's um, let's let you two. The sexiest. Yeah. For me, uh, the sexiest is definitely this one. Mm -hmm. I I'm hesitating between this and this. Actually. Yes, yes it's tough. Because, I would... Yes, because this. Oh, actually, I'm not too sure. I think this is the sexiest. Yeah, one. it's actually because it has that beastly character. Yeah, yeah. That this is kind of an animatic. That edge. That yeah, you're right. This, one this is, is like kind super... of sexy. You see someone in a club. And you think, hey, you know, I like the look of you, I like, the, I like the way you move, that kind of sexy. Um, this one is more carnal, this is more yeah, like, I want to exactly. take you home and rip your clothes off kind of um, scent. You know what I mean? Yes, there you go. Um, That's it. No, no, it's, it's, it's really like that. If we yeah. had to pick one of if those two, do we, want, do we want dancing in the club or ripping your clothes off? Okay, is that for the sexy or for the amber? Is it, well, ripping the clothes is better, no? Okay. But, <laughs> but uh, is that... <laughs> Sexy? Oh, I think sexy. We agree on this. Yes. Yeah. 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 We agree. On I, this. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So the sexiest amber is, is the fragrance de bois. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, is that? Would you say that's your favorite of all of these five? No. 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 Okay. So tell no, us. Which I, is... I would wear it for yeah. a different occasion, like we said, if yeah. I really want to attract the male. You know. <laughs> the male. The, the male. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Great. And um, so your favorite of all of them would be. Histoire de Parfum? Yeah, same. Histoire de Parfum. We discovered it together. Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah. Like, we did. Oh, we so discovered good. it together. We loved it straight away. I think it's love at first yeah. sight for this one. Mm. It's, a very, it's a very, very hard choice. Um, I'm torn between Histoire de Parfum, Ambre Premier, and the Fragrance de Bois. I think. I'm gonna have to just lean a little bit towards fragrance to black. Ah, okay. So basically, you want to rip. You go. Is that what just, you're saying? Just, just my own. I'll do. Okay, so yeah. it's gonna cost Fine. you five hundred and ninety-five pounds to rip some on glasses. Right, I'll just go and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so well, there we go. All nice. I think clear which our favourites are, and mm -hmm. I think we discussed the note of amber pretty adequately in that video. So thanks for the help. Well, thanks for having us. Always love to get your opinions. Always right. appreciate them and value them, as do many people watching this video right now. So come back anytime. We... I don't know what to say. <laughs> You're speechless. You're speechless. So I'm speechless. Oh, I speechless. this amber. That happens. I mean, it's it's too, it's too much fragrance yeah, to watch. It's It's ripping close, like yeah, I've come somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> I think we better wrap it up. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.